be. And at most, God damn it, of these cases are likely to be the product of a rich native folklore combined with European settlers with overactive imaginations exacerbated by Oz's incredibly unique fauna. The fact remains that Australia, as already illustrated, is the home to some of the Earth's most unique animals and that the bunyip and its ilk may well be a living, breathing descendant of a water-dwelling marsupial predator, of which I don't think there's any in the fossil record that we know of. So it's all speculation when I say that. I mean, yet. But it could be. It has also been suggested by some researchers, that the bunyip may, in fact, be, here it is, a modern water-based descendant of the largest known marsupial to have ever lived. Our our gargantuan, Jesus Christ, gargantuan, a gargantuan cousin to wombats and koalas known as the Dipertodon australis. These massive quadrupedal herbivores grew to nearly six feet at the shoulder and measured about 13 feet from huge nose, and it has a stupid big nose, to tail, likely weighing in at several tons. While most academics assumed that they were hunted to extinction approximately 46,000 years ago, perhaps some managed to survive by adapting to an aquatic environment.